He was a seer of visionary, the inventor of remote control, the motors that we use today. It's the wireless transmission of radio signals. Electricity available 24-7 anywhere you live on the Earth. Even more than the 20th century. The man of the 20th century. Many might still know who he was, but his name surely rings a bell, and they are certainly familiar with his incredible inventions. Nikola Tesla is the man who had lit the previous century and bridged the gap leading into the next, with over 900 patents approved across his lifetime. We owe him everything from LED lights, alternating current, Tesla turbine, Tesla coil, radio and remote control, the magnifying transmitter, neon lamp, x-rays, Adams power plant transformer house, induction motor, electric cars, robotics, laser, wireless communications and limitless free energy, artificial tidal wave to electric-powered supersonic airship or death beam, and many, many other patents. Tesla was making very substantial claims about so-called teleforce rays that could bring down airplanes from thousands of miles away. His interest in building what we now call robots, but he built that remote control uh, boat two decades before the word robot was even coined. He was working on radio-controlled torpedoes, robot ships, all sorts of things. And these are all inventions on the surface inventions that humans at that stage of evolution could grasp and understand. However, few people know that Nikola Tesla had tapped into a source of unlimited energy. He thought that the Earth itself was like a giant condenser, that the Earth contained a great deal of natural energy. And was on the verge of handing the people of this planet a gift of free energy until the powers that be had stopped him in his tracks. The most important thing Tesla required in order to accomplish his plan was funding. He was an inventor, not a businessman. So during his lifetime, he came across various hurdles that would hinder his progress towards the future he envisioned for humanity. Even so, Tesla pursued his dreams until his final hour. Not only he wished to give free, wireless energy to the world, he also wanted to establish long-lasting peace on Earth. For this goal alone, he designed the perfect plan. He would engineer a weapon so powerful that its energy bursts would bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 200 miles from a defending nation's border and will cause armies to drop dead in their tracks. Tesla claimed that his uh, death beam would be able to destroy an attacking enemy air fleet. He said that this would also be able to stop an enemy army uh, up to a million men. By constructing this tremendously powerful apparatus and distributing it to all leading nations, he would ensure that war would not make sense anymore, since everyone would have an impenetrable offensive and defensive force. Tesla thought that by selling his invention to the world's superpowers, he would receive the funding required to carry on with his ultimate experiment of generating unlimited energy. Tesla was convinced that if he could tap the resonance energy of the Earth, that he would be able to create waves that would, in theory, never dissipate. He initially reached out to J.P. Morgan Jr. Damn it, Tesla. Wireless electricity for the world, and all one needs is a cheap little device to receive it. How do you charge people for that? There's no goddamn profit in it, you vainglorious idiot. At a time when war clouds were once again forming above Europe. I have made recent discoveries of inestimable value. The flying machine has completely demoralized the world. So much that in some cities, as London and Paris, people are in mortal fear from aerial bombing. 
The new means I have perfected afford absolute protection against this and other forms of attack. Nonetheless, Morgan was unconvinced of Tesla's idea. He then tried to persuade Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain of Great Britain. His proposal was diligently considered, but upon Chamberlain's resignation after Hitler had outmaneuvered him at Munich, the interest shown toward this anti-war weapon had plunged. After several failed attempts to raise awareness of his superweapon and its capabilities, Tesla published a treatise in 1937 called The Art of Projecting Concentrated Non-Dispersive Energy Through the Natural Media. The thesis offered viable technicalities about this all-powerful invention that, as Tesla claimed, would put an end to all war. The original document is preserved to this day inside the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. After this move, Tesla had caught the attention of the Russians, who expressed a great deal of interest toward his invention. So, during the same year, Nikola Tesla had presented a more elaborate version of his plan to the Armtorg Trading Corporation, an alleged Soviet arms front in New York City. In 1939, the year the Second World War had begun, the first stage of this superweapons prototype was successfully tested in the USSR. To honor the agreement, Tesla received a check for $25,000 that would further allow him to fund his research. Of course, Tesla had passed from this existence four years later, without seeing some of his most intriguing inventions being used on a large scale. There are some theories that suggest that Tesla might have been killed over his invention of the particle weapon. And certainly there are a lot of people who suggest that Tesla's papers and notes for a particle beam weapon were stolen so that nefarious governments could work on them. So when he passed away, he took his secrets to the afterlife. However, the Russians who had previously bought some of his blueprints, as well as the US who had extracted through the FBI whatever work Tesla kept in his Colorado Springs laboratory, had cracked most of his riddles as time progressed and have managed to weaponize the Tesla scalar wave effects. After the atrocities of two world wars, and with an ever-expanding technological advancement, world leaders have started considering ways in which they could limit or put an end to global conflicts. In 1975, during the SALT talks, Leonid Brezhnev, General Secretary of the Soviet Union at the time, had stressed that the development of new war weapons should be drastically limited because they have already become more frightening than the mind of the man Air had imagined. Official investigation into UFOs. The German government took death rays very seriously. The Nazis probably would have been interested in the particle beam weapon as one of several devices that they could use to terrorize another population. The US was engaged in fighting Hitler and the Nazis and trying to take over the world. So weapons such as a death ray being developed by Tesla, falling into the wrong hands, could have been devastating. Needless to say, most of the weapons in cause pertain to Tesla. His superweapon, dubbed Teleforce, was fully operational under the Soviet Union as early as the 70s. Now called the Seri Shagan Howitzer, the humongous Tesla scalar interferometer was exactly as Tesla had described it. It encompasses four modes of operation. The first one is the Tesla Shield. It runs continuously and generates a thin, impenetrable hemispherical wall of energy over a selected area. It has defensive purposes and works as follows. By interfering two Fourier expansions and three-dimensional scalar hemispherical patterns in space, they join into a dome-like shield of electromagnetic energy. Air molecules and atoms trapped inside are fully ionized, displaying an intense and vivid light. Any physical object that attempts to pass through this shield will receive a considerable discharge of electrical energy and will be vaporized in an instant. By stacking these energetic shells, they will deter any gamma radiation or EMPS coming its way. The second mode is more offensive. Utilizing two truncated Fourier transformers, 
the device shoots a three-dimensional scalar five-field pulse. A second pulse is then released, traveling at a faster velocity and overtaking the first one, merging into a deadly EMP of electromagnetic energy. The third mode is the same pulse variation ran continuously. Thus, two continuous scalar waves are sent forward, merging into vector energy at their target destination. According to some researchers, this is the exact way in which Tesla planned to transmit wireless energy, and also the weapon would annihilate hundreds of aircrafts and entire armies. The final mode, dubbed Time Squeeze, will let the user play with things like anti-gravity, dematerialization and materialization, transmutation, and it provides a great deal of medical benefits. Other effects may include some liminal and superliminal communication seeing through Earth and the ocean, as well as reaching higher orders of reality. This is apparently possible because the human being has, between his ears, a Tesla scalar interferometer. This tiny biological device accounts for most parapsychological phenomena. It can also be triggered naturally through practice and meditation. Today, if you were to look at one of those satellite images that shows you how the world is lit up at night, 95% of the electricity that you see in that picture, all of those lights, is distributed by alternating current. And one night he realized that he was not only getting currents through the Earth, but he was also getting a consistent signal, first one beep, then two beeps, and three beeps as he listened on a telephone receiver. The public was fascinated by this account because it made the headlines in major newspapers around the world that somehow Tesla was in communication with outer space. Without Tesla's invention of alternating current technology, it would be a much darker and quieter world. The technology behind Tesla's weapons is nothing new to modern man. They fall in the category of directed energy weapons, or DEWs, which are long-range weapon systems that inflict damage at a selected target by emitting powerful, focused bursts of energy. These emissions are either laser, microwaves, or particle beams. With such weapons at the disposal of world powers, it's easy to understand why another world war hasn't broken out by now. With his daring plan to arm all nations with this superweapon, it appears that Nikola Tesla has reached one of his end goals of establishing long-lasting peace between nations. Now, we can only wait and see when the world governments will release Tesla's ultimate secret of free energy.